Hey there, it's time for another unboxing. And it's been, what, seven months? What have I been doing all this time? Oh, that's right. Let's open this thing up. Whoops. Good day, old chap. What the f What's the matter, old chum? Where's... Where's Mothra? No clue, good lad. And I had no clue you were British. No one asked me. After all, I never got any speaking lines. Uh, good point. Also, there's this girl who... I'm cutting you off there. I already lost three viewers. I'm gonna get going. Ugh. You had one job. Where the hell are the Blu-rays? Curse of the Cat People. Well, this is a sequel to the Fantastic Cat People. In the original movie, there was this woman who may or may not turn into a panther when she gets turned on. What a sexy bird, ain't I right? She's a cat. And are you really going to talk in the voiceovers? Yeah, I can help out by golly. This is going to be a long video. Anyways, in this sequel, it's more about a child's imagination, which is a big departure from the original. No clue what I'm in for, but it seems pretty dark for the plot. If that child comes here again, I'll kill her. Yes, I'll kill her. <laughs> what did the little girl do? Saturn 3. In an isolated sector of our solar system, suspended in orbit around the sixth planet from our sun, lies a distant outpost. A technologically perfect world where mistakes are impossible. Because the impossible is unthinkable. It is called Saturn III. Each year for 22 days, a solar eclipse plunges this outpost into shadow lock. Total darkness. All communication is terminated. This year, the inhabitants of Saturn III are about to experience the unthinkable. A nightmare so perfect it could only have been made by man. This is a neat sci-fi flick. A man and a woman, whoa, whoa, hello, are on a remote base with a killer One of robot. Them is not human. Look at his tidy head. That's what she said. You stole my bit. You're already annoying me and we're only two movies in. Nomads. It started out to be their dream house. What do you think, huh? <laughs> A home too good to be true with a secret more horrifying than you can ever imagine. They are a nightmare. But they are as real as the terror you feel. Leslie Ann Down and the star of Remington Steel, Pierce Brosnan, like you've never seen him before in a terrifying story of the supernatural nomads. Yeah, it's the same director who did Die Hard, Predator, Mike's Action Hero, and The Hunt for Red October. He also wiretapped producer Charles Roven and lied to the FBI and then went to federal prison. Wait, how do you know all this? I was his cellmate. Uh, moving on. Dead Time Stories. This is one of those anthology horror movies that we all enjoy. The first one is about witches. Second is about Little Red Riding Hood. The third one is Goldilocks. What's your name, honey? Goldie? Goldilocks. Stories are weird and quirky, and they are tied together with the father telling his son bedtime stories. Oh, no, 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 no more. Please, it's time to go to bed. to bed. Please, Brian, no, no, please, no, just Brian! Just I love the special effects. It is fantastic. This movie does have a resurrection scene that rivals Hellraiser's. Proper meaning in blimey, but makes me chuffed gobsmacked. Oh, you're in a monocle now. And what? Murders in the Rue Morgue. 
Pre-code alert. Pre-code alert. Woo, pre-code. Well, not much to say, except this is the first movie Bella Lugosi entering Edgar Allan Poe's work. Like I said, this is pre-code, so we got torture, dancing women, mords, and muckies. It's visually stunning, plus this is one of my favorite shots in the film. With my bonnet! Oh, of course, it's beautiful! And it's a gift? I guess you could say that he shouldn't be monkeying around. Monkeying around. Orca, the killer whale. Things can happen. You're well. He followed you. He saw you on the deck of the boat. Lee stalkers don't really attack boats, right? Attacking them and even managing to sink three. Never mind. Orca. We don't need to see ambulance in the theaters. We got ambulance at home. A killer is loose in New York City. Somebody call an ambulance, okay? I don't know anything about you dead woman in the park, okay? I was just trying to get away from that. An ambulance that picks up New Yorkers. Well, what do you know? If you call for help, you're dead. I'm kind of worried about Mothra. This is the first unboxing I didn't do with her. Bloody hell, I got to leg it to Tokyo. Godzilla bloke taking the piss while throwing a wobbly. Got a crack on your Muppet faffing around. Bye, I guess? Mothra, where did you go? Being here the whole time, you dumb ass. Oh. Check out my new video series, Quickie Reviews, where I review new movies quick. Okay, bye.